It's coming down now. Yeah, it is. Now it's been threatening rain all day. And of course, we had a really nice, rather strong wave of it come through about 4 a.m. But then there was nothing on radar. Yeah, and I was just out there trying to get that there south side bed all planted out. You know, I decided I'd put those collards in that would never give up. And y'all saw where I cleared out up in the bamboo forest where I could get some more bean poles, so I got them up. And hey, then I planted more beans. There were actually some rattlesnake pole beans that I had purchased in 2020 as part of my apocalypse seed supply. You know, just in case there's never no more. And they were getting a little bit long in the two, so we figured we better stick them in the ground. Make some new seed. But yeah, I was just working away out here. And you can look way out there, you can see that there's six pack with one lonely collard plant still in it. Yep. That's where I was, about to stick it in the ground. When, yep, another wave came through. And it's been here now for about an hour. Anywhere from light to moderate to heavy rainfall. We're getting plenty of rain in the month of June to make up for the month of May. What do you say, Mr. Gray? You ain't liking the rain either. You're not. No. Would you let Papa give you a bath? You know, you're not the best smelling. <laughs> of course, I'm not either. Look at my pants. Yeah. And I think Mr. Gray and I aren't the sweetest smelling of people considering the day we've had. <laughs> yep. Because I work right up until the rain just is soaking me through and I got to give it up. Hey, I think that's Spooky coming. He was under Alice. I'm not sure who's protecting too. Was Alice protecting him? Or he protecting Alice? <laughs> Come on, Spooky. I know you don't like the rain. Yep, you can check out all Papa's work there. We've been getting it. But come on over here where it's dry. In the capo. <laughs> yep. Get a little bit damp. Man, those flies are terrible this year. But Papa had something ordered that he's got to put up. Man, they're just hundreds of them. I haven't seen flies that bad in previous years, but they've been bad this year. We got something for them. Well, it looks like the rain's going to lighten up for a bit. Maybe this here pop-up, as we call them this time of year, is passing us by. Speedy, is that you? Speedy? Or is that Cleet? No, nope, that's Speedy. Come on, Speedy. Come on in here. What? Just walk over here where it's not raining. Oh, you're going to get under the kale? Are you okay? No. You don't like the rain? Well, it's just part of summer. Well, it's not even summer yet. To what, the 21st? Spooky. Get out your phone and Google that for me, okay? Well, since Papa's out here, I'd actually got run in the house. And I came back out just to check on things. Because when I walked out here a little bit earlier before all of y'all showed up, it was really coming down. Yes, it was. Oh, there you are, friends and family. Glad you stopped by today. As you can see, we've had a lot of rain. And I'm thinking more's on the way. Yeah, at least that's what the forecast says. And the long range, 10 day forecast says there's a chance of scattered showers every day for 10 days out. Yep, so it looks like we're going to make up for the rain deficit in the south anyway. Of course, overnight, and into yesterday afternoon, Father's Day, there were some more severe storms throughout the south. Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Mississippi got hit very hard in one small town and almost wiped off the face of the planet. All we got was rain and a little bit of wind. 
nothing to write home about. Hey, I think Cleo's coming by. Cleo, you coming too? Uh, were you over hanging with the Davises? Was you? Hmm, you checking out water? Well, Cleo's made it. So, there you have it. There's the kitty crew. Cleo, Spooky, Speedy, and old Mr. Gray. Whew, water's out there rather deep. I think we got a river out here by the house. Let's go check. Well, there, you know, we can just walk in between the raindrops, okay? Whew, oh, yeah. We got a river out front. Been a while since I've seen that. So this will sort of show you how much it's rained. Let me show you my river here in my little piece of paradise from the deep south of Alabama where we normally don't have one. Ooh, yeah. She's running by right down the street. You know, I'd raked all this debris and leaf litter up, put it in my wheelbarrow just a day or two ago. And you can see, whew, it's coming on down. Uh-oh, we don't want to get over our shoes and get out here in the middle of the road. Oh yeah, it's coming right down that hillside. Probably from up at the top of the ridge. Wherever it's coming from, there's a whole lot of dirt with it. It's heading on down here to the lower storm drains. Yep. But in reality, it should be going over into the storm drains on the other side of the road up here, but it can't get there. Because over time, a ridge is built up from just the mowing. Look at how fast that's running. Can you hear it? We got our own stream. And then we got some here, breaking past. It's gotten so high, it's overflowing into our place right there. Hey, we sort of got like a little mini waterfall. Hmm, that's a relaxing kind of sound. Well, I should just set the GoPro up here and record this for about an hour that put me to sleep every night but herein lies the problem and that's why all this comes down here see it's running all the way down from the cemetery road starts at the top of the ridge comes down comes down beside the cemetery crosses across the road here comes down here and heads to those lower storm drains. That's not the way it used to be. Right, Cleo? Hmm. It's not raining. It's just dripping underneath the old pine tree. And this is pretty deep out here. But you can see right over there the old uh, storm drain. And there's another one right up here. But see, over time, yeah, this berm is built up. And this water gets right here where it's a low spot in the road. And it can't get across to the storm drains there in that there ditch on the cemetery side. And I've tried to get the city to come out here and look at this, and I actually dug it away one time. It didn't last long, and they come back and peeled it back in. You see right there? Right there. And that storm drain is where this water should be going. And it's not. Now, I can come out here and take a shovel and dig over to it. And I've done that a couple years in the past. 
It always seems to get filled in really fast. Spooky, come on. Don't get in there, fool. Come on. That's where it used to go. And what didn't go in there came down here and went in that one down here by the entrance to the Carville Cemetery. But that's why Mr. Tom has a river running by the front of his little piece of paradise here in the deep south of Alabama. <laughs> yep, well, it could be worse, right? Could be running on in against the house, but we've had so much rain all this area here at times standing anywhere from four to six to eight inches deep. Thankfully, because of that sandy loom soil we got, it sucks it up until it just gets so saturated it can't drink any more up. It's just slumping, plat, fool. Yep, what we call down here in the south, slap fool. Right, Spooky? Cleo, I know. <laughs> you don't want Papa to move, but then again, you want to get up on top of his feet because they're dry too, huh? I'm hearing you, girl. You <laughs> love Papa. Papa loves you. But anyway, that's where we're at here at the old home place today on June the 19th. Ooh, but everything's looking good. It's enjoying the rain, but with the constant rain, will come more and more and more disease pressure. Yeah, I ain't looking forward to that. We need that sun to come out. Kind of dry things off for a bit. Yeah, otherwise disease pressure is really going to get out there. But with all this here, wave after wave of rain, we haven't been able to get back on our project of clearing up the bamboo forest. That's why we went ahead and started planting out the south side driveway garden bed as we call it here on the old home place yeah we gotta get all this picked up too we got all kinds of stuff to do we're doing it as weather and priority takes precedence yes we are Well, at least before the rain ran us in, you can see our area where we keep all of our plant starts that we need to get in the ground is getting a lot less. About half of it's gone. Well, that was what I wanted to do today. I wanted to get this driveway garden bed, affectionately called the south side driveway garden bed, all cleaned up, get everything here cleaned up in front of it, put in the compost pile, and get it planted out. Yeah, I got five of these collards stuck in that haven't given given up or have they bolted. Also stuck in that straight neck yellow squash right there. I've grown one there before and it's done mighty fine. Maybe it will this year too. And I stuck in some more bean poles here. And some of those hoss tool rattlesnake pole beans. Along with two more of the Bonnie Choice collards. And there's my last collard in the six pack. <laughs> Still waiting for a home. But yeah, I got more poles up. Drug them down first thing this morning. I got the bamboo forest. Yeah, put in a new one here. Put in these four. So that would give me many more. And then all along here, I dug me that there one inch trench. Nothing amazing. And I planted about every two to three inches some of that rattlesnake pole beans from Haas Tools. Now, now, granted it's three years old, so I'm not sure what the germination rate will be. But I can always stick in more. 
because I got more. And I got more long bean seed as well. So there you have it. We'll get some beans growing in time. Because it's only June. We still got the remainder of June. We got July. We got August, September, October, November, December. Yeah, at least mid-December most years. So <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot of time left to be growing veg. Right, Cleo? Yeah, the queen has to check everything out and certify. <laughs> it's all good. And we got two tomatoes put in up here. Now, that was yesterday on Father's Day. We got us our husky red cherry right there. And over here, we got a grape. It's called a Tamic C, hybrid tomato. But it's supposed to be a grape type tomato, red one. Of course, and that's supposed to be a you know red cherry tomato. We'll see. And I'm keeping these three collards that have been there since last fall. So there you have it. We got the cucumbers in. Not yesterday, but the day before, Father's Day, Saturday. So I'm thinking for now, of course if the beans all come up, the collards stay alive, and cucumbers grow out. The tomatoes do fine and everything. This is about it for this bed. Yeah, you know me. There's still room left right in here. Might have to throw in some onions. What y'all think? Now I'm thinking it'd be a good place. Because this is really easy to water. But we'll just have to see as the days go by. Well, if it'll dry up a little bit, I'll go put my mud shoes on. And I can get the remnants of my bamboo tops here. Drug over to the burn pile. And I don't really need those. Yep, I got one pole left right there. I could probably stick it in somewhere and stick a few bean plants in. You know how I am. And if there's a couple of inches left, you need to plant something. Don't let the ground sit there and be non-productive. I was going to say infertile, but the ground's fertile. At least it always has been. What are you doing up there, Spooky? You relaxing up on the focus? Yeah. Now, you see what he's doing. Personal hygiene. Yes, he is. But that's what we're trying to accomplish. Get things planted out in between the waves of rain. So, y'all, there's where we have it during midday. June the 19th, 2023. Here in my little piece of paradise in the deep south of Alabama. I do hope this video finds all of you well, safe, and happy with your friends, family, and loved ones, wherever you may be. And as always, may God bless you as you bless those in your lives. Oh, and I almost forgot. I'm getting old. <laughs> as they might say, or maybe I'm just a little tired today. Because I have been getting it the last few days. But until I. Oh, spooky, speedy, Cleo, and old Mr. Gray. Sometimes he clip. A little grace to see you on that next video. Stay safe, take care, and God bless. Goodbye for now. Uh oh, we gotta get up through the. Uh oh, we gotta make it up here through the water that's standing on the walkway. Yep. We've had so much rain now, it takes a while to just soak in. <laughs> so we've got to make our way through it. Be careful now. Ah, we made it to safety. The old front porch. Yeah, let's go in and see what Grace is up to. See where the weather's going later today later all <laughs>